Hey everyone, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. In today's episode, I just want to keep it simple, sit down and just talk to you about a very interesting topic. And my topic for today is cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all of those XRP, Dogecoin, lahat ng mga nakikita nyo, all of those things that you're seeing trending on Twitter or on Facebook of people suddenly becoming rich or becoming poor. That's our topic for today. In fact, my goal is to share with you five key lessons before you invest in crypto. And I'll also share with you ano ba nangyari sa akin, what happened to me with the recent crypto crash. Did I get wiped out? Did I lose all my money? I'll share with you everything that happened. Tara, let's go. By the way, before we get started, if you guys want more content like this on business, life, and cryptocurrency investments, give this a thumbs up right now and comment down below so I will decide to make more stuff like this. Anyway, moving forward. So, as most of you guys know, uh, crypto crashed hard, as in like half, almost more than half when it comes to several currencies. So, I am very fortunate and I am very blessed that I listened to my wife. <laughs> what do I mean? So I think it was around May 10 that I posted on Facebook that I decided to sell more than 90% of my current crypto holdings. And it was because of my wife's constant reminder that if there's significant profit already, uh, you know, take the profit. Primarily because you should always be cautious if there is a boom. You never know when it will just, you know, drop, especially in the world of crypto. So I decided to take her advice. I sold most of my holdings in crypto and I just invested it in the Philippine Stock Exchange, the PSE. So the lesson there is, listen to your spouse. Listen to your partner. Decide this one, okay? <laughs> but, but anyway, so I just checked. Uh, how much was left no so I think when I sold most of my crypto I had still around 70,000 pesos or 1,200 400 dollars left on BloomX which is the platform I trade on here in the Philippines so 70,000 shall be uh, after I sold so I just checked this morning and as of this morning the total value is down to 37,506 pesos so a little over half so it took a massive hit. So aray kupo ang sakit. That's still 35,000, 36,000. That's a lot of money. So the goal now obviously is to just wait. Kasi <laughs> I don't want to sell it at a loss. There's no sense in selling it uh, at a big, you know, palugi. So antayin lang natin umakyat siya and wait for it to go back up. And hopefully we get to recover our money. Or if there's a boom again, we get to ride that. So that has been my experience. And in today's episode, I want to focus on five lessons that I can share with you. Having been in the crypto space, trading and investing since 2016, 2017. Here are the five lessons. Number one, do not get into crypto if you are in bad debt. If you have a lot of bad debt. Ano ibig sabihin nun? In Tagalog or in Filipino, if marami kang utang, at marami kang pinagkakautangan at yung utang na yun hindi mo pinagkakakitaan kasi di ba may mga utang na pwede mong pagkakitaan utang sa negosyo, utang sa mga bagay na para, alam mo yun naman nag-generate ng cash flow, if marami kang utang na, na malala it's not the best time to get into crypto because primarily, it is such a volatile space. Hindi mo talaga matansya. Ang dami nagsasabi na abot siya ng 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 dollars one bitcoin. But in, you never really can tell it. Nobody has a crystal ball. You can do all the technical analysis that you, you can, but at the end of the day, it's at the mercy of the world and how the world moves. No? So you can never really tell. And it is a highly volatile medium. So hindi pwedeng isugal mo, lalo na kung malaki ang utang mo. Number two, before you get into crypto, you need to have emergency savings. What do I mean by that? The emergency fund or the emergency savings is basically six months worth of living expenses. So you need to have that in the bank, liquid, and you will not touch it only unless there are emergencies. So that gives you peace of mind. That gives you safety. That gives you the confidence to invest. Before you invest in anything, the first thing you need to build up is your emergency fund. It is super important. Six months worth ng expenses ninyo. And number three, before you get into crypto, you need to have, I would suggest, I would strongly recommend that you are diversified. That you have other less risky investments. That you have investments either in the stock market, you have investments in mutual funds, you have investments even in VULs, or sabihin natin in business. You need to have a wide range of investments before you get into something as highly volatile as cryptocurrency. And number four, 
and this is I cannot stress this enough you need to understand how cryptocurrency works and what blockchain is all about and what are the value and the utility of all the different coins that you are investing in before you invest if you're investing into Dogecoin just because feeling mong yayaman ka or invest ka in Bitcoin kasi feeling mong yayaman ka pero hindi mo naman naiintindihan what Bitcoin is all about or what Bitcoin is all about or why Ethereum is booming or why how Ethereum is different from Bitcoin or how XRP is different from all of those things or Cardano or all of those stuff then yari ka kasi you are just investing because of some sort of fear of missing out and that is the worst reason and that is the worst way to invest Kasi you do not understand what you're, where you're putting your hard-earned money is into. So mag-research ka muna. Lalong-lalo na if you will go into day trading for crypto. And number five, which I think is one of the most important, is that you should always have somebody to cover your blind side. Yan yung nangyari sa akin. That is the blessing that I have uh, with what my current investment thing that happened. No? So... Ako kasi, I'm, I'm very, how do I say this, masyado ko na-excite and sometimes my tendency is if it's doing well, I'll keep putting in more and double up on it and the problem with that is if it suddenly fails, I will crash and burn. And my wife is more of a low to medium risk type of investment person. So the balance, the complementary nature that we have with one another with investment is a big plus. In short, she covers my blind side. Nakikita niya yung hindi ko nakikita and she gives me advice. Now, dati, Medyo naasar pa ako kasi I would always think parang eh kinokontra mo lang ako pa di mo ako sinosupport diba? that, those are the lies in my head but what I didn't realize especially for a long time is that she's saying those things not because kinokontra lang niya ako or not because parang gusto lang niyang or hindi siya naniniwala or so that she doesn't support she says those things because she loves me she supports me and she wants the best for me so if you understand it that way, you will see it from her perspective or from the perspective of your partner and it gives you so much more wisdom with how you move. So yun yung feeling ko, yun yung sinusundan ko and it has been one of the best things that I've decided to follow, especially in the last few years. So those are like the five lessons that I can share with you. Obviously, this is just from my experience. There are a lot more people that you can watch that can give you more uh, information or a different point of view what's important is that you watch different perspectives you take what value you can from all of those perspectives and then you make a decision on your own so wag lang ako susundan just because i see it pag isipan niyo yung sinabi ko manood kayo ng iba and come to your own conclusion because that is what makes a critical informed choice versus nakikisabay ka lang dahil feeling mo you're missing out Okay, and that actually wraps up this very quick, chill vlog. I just wanted to talk about cryptocurrency since a lot of you keep asking me anyway uh, on Instagram and Twitter on it. So at least now you guys know what I think. And with that said, this is Carlo signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.